Hello everyone! I'm Chef Mom Rosebud. Welcome to my channel! Siyempre, magluluto na naman ako para sa inyo today. Pero bagong lahat, magpapasalamat muna ako sa aking mga subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I hope na nag enjoy kayo sa aking mga cooking videos. And I hope that you learn something new every day. So, as a way of saying thank you, ito na ang aking special dish for today. This is actually... Um, a dish that I love preparing for my family during our family dinners and I hope na ma-enjoy nyo rin to. This dish is called my easy lasagna. Okay, so let's start cooking. Teka, ayusin ko lang muna ang aking apron. So, for this recipe, uunahin na muna natin gawin yung ating white sauce. Ang lasagna kasi has three components. Nandiyan yung lasagna noodles, nandiyan yung meat sauce, and then the white sauce. Actually, meron pa isa yung cheese topping sa taas. Pero unahin na muna natin gawin yung ating white sauce. So, buksan muna natin yung ating pan. Let's check. Oops, wala. Buksan <laughs> natin ulit. There. Ay, wala pa rin. Yun. So, low heat lang. Medyo low heat. First thing that we need to do is we have your butter. So, may melt lang natin yung ating butter dito sa ating pan. Okay, we'll just melt this. So, maganda pag halimbawa gagamit kayo ng butter sa cooking. Pero hindi ko ginawa, no? Pero this is a tip for all of you. I-cubes nyo na para mas mabilis siyang mag-melt. Oh, nga. Pasensya na, hindi ko siya nagawa. There. So, let's just melt this. Pag nag-melt na butter natin, we could now add in our all-purpose flour. Ayan. So, itong ating all-purpose flour and butter, we'll just mix it together. This will act as our roux. Or in French cooking, yung roux kasi yung ginagamit as a thickener. Pag sa Asian cuisine, usually ang ginagamit na thickener is yung cornstarch with water or what we call slurry. Pero pagka, yan, sa French cooking, they use roux or butter and flour together. So, just make sure na mahalo natin na maayos yung ating flour with our butter para wala siyang raw taste. So, nakita nyo, di ba? Ano na siya? Malapot na siya. It's thick already. So, make sure lang na lutong-luto lutong lahat yung ating flour. So, at this point, I will just lower the heat. Kasi we don't want to burn this. Okay, so at this point, low heat, we're now gonna add in our milk. So slowly just add it to your... Okay, gawin natin dito. Sauce so, pot. So, pag nakalagay na lahat yung milk natin, we'll just slowly mix this. Yan, to make sure lang na yung ating roux ay naihalo natin dito sa ating milk. So, para mag-thicken yung ating milk. Okay? And then, we need cheese. So, I have here some grated cheddar cheese. So, we'll add it here. Okay? Sige, mix lang natin. Para mag-melt yung cheese together with the milk and the roux. Para maglasa siya. Okay, slowly lang. Let me get a whisk. Para mas mabilis siyang mamix. Here. So, we'll just let this boil para mag-melt yung cheese natin. And then, once it boils... We will lower the heat and let it simmer para mag-thicken yung ating white sauce. Okay? Do not forget to season your white sauce. Lagyan pa rin natin siya ng ating salt and pepper. Okay? And salt and pepper. You could also use white pepper if you like. Kasi nga white sauce to. But ako... Personally, I, I really don't mind using black pepper. So just mix it. 
Pagagamit lang kayo ng mga ganitong equipment sa kitchen. Make sure that it's heat proof. Kasi one time, meron ako ginamit na hindi pala heat proof. Halo ka ng halo pag angat kong ganun. Wala na. Matunog na yun. <laughs> Aking rubber spatula. So make sure lang na heat proof ang inyong mga ginagamit na utensils. So this is good already. I'm just gonna set this aside. And I'll heat it up. Keep it warm in another stove top. So habang pinapainit natin yung ating um, white sauce, gagawin ko na yung ating meat sauce. So for the meat sauce, let's just put some oil into our pan. And then, okay, pag mainit na yung ating pan, we'll saute our onions, white onions. So, we'll just saute this until it turns translucent. Ayan. I like using white onions for dishes like this because, yeah, meron siyang sweet taste na ine-impart as compared to our red onions. Okay, so, nag-translucent na yung ating onions. We now add in our minced garlic. So, the more garlic, the better. Kung viewer na kayo nitong aking channel, alam nyo na how much I love using garlic on my food. Kasi nga, ang sarap ng flavor niya. And then we add in, I'm using ground beef for our recipe. Okay, so this is our ground beef. Lagyan natin lahat. So we'll just wait for that to cook. Then we add in our tomato paste. So yung tomato paste, para mag, ano siya, magbigay siya ng acid or yung maasim na flavor dun sa ating dish. So, lagay lang tayo mga 2 tablespoons. Cook that there. Halo natin. So, itong dish na to, actually, challenge for me ito because my husband loves lasagna. Pero meron siyang kinasanayan na lasagna na gustong gusto talaga niya. Yun yung ginagawa ng kanyang Tita Selly. Si Tita Selly, sobrang sarap kasi magluto nun. So ever since bata pa lang siya, yung lasagna na yun, every Christmas time, yun ang nililuto ng tita niya. And that's something that he really looks forward to. So medyo challenge siya for me kasi kailangan kung hindi kasing sarap, dapat mas masarap kesa dun sa lasagna ni Tita Selly, yung aking gagawin. Pero this one, enjoy to yung mga anak ko dito. Gustong gusto nila to. Now we add in our tomato sauce. As I mentioned, this one is, mali ako, hindi siya 500 grams. This is 1 kilo of ground beef. So we're also adding in 1 liter of tomato sauce. Kasi di ba pag lasagna, gusto natin yung matomato talaga. So let's just mix this. Mix and mix. Ayan. So we'll just let this simmer. We'll let the beef simmer into the tomato sauce. Make sure lang that you mix it para hindi masunog yung ating ground meat. Now I'll be adding a little bit of sugar kasi nga medyo maasim yung ating tomato paste and the tomato sauce. So para lang to cut in dun sa flavor na yun, medyo maglalagay tayo ng konting sweetness. Mix that. Meron ako dito ang dried basil and Italian seasoning. So, para medyo meron tayong Italian flavor talaga. Although this recipe is the easier version of las the lasagna, and this is actually cheaper kasi pagkagagawa kayo ng mga classic na lasagna recipes, ang ginagamit nila doon, usually, hindi yung cheddar cheese lang. They use ricotta cheese, they use mozzarella. Diba? Pero pwede naman kayo mag-create ng dish Kahit na hindi yun mga gamit yung ingredients, medyo on the more affordable side, pero masarap pa rin. So, let's just mix this. There. And then, again, with 
salt and pepper. Lagi natin lalagyan ng salt and pepper ang ating niluluto dahil pag wala yan, nako, bland ang inyong pagkain. So, halo lang natin siya. And then, at this point, we could now add our canned mushrooms. So, canned siya and sliced. So, we'll just add this. So, pwede kung halimbawa gusto nyo, gawin nyo siyang extender. So, you don't really have to have a lot of the ground beef. Just add more of the mushrooms para kung ano yung nag you stick to your budget, ika nga. Pero ito pang padagdag lang din. So, when you bite into it, mayroong ground beef tapos may mushrooms. So, may iba rin na texture na matitikman. So, let's just mix that. And I will just taste this. Mm, okay na. This is good. So, i-arrange na natin ito ngayon with our lasagna noodles. So, now it's assembly time. Andito na yung aking ginawang meat sauce. Nandito na yung aking white sauce. And here is the pre-cooked lasagna noodles. Yung iba, ang ginagawa nila with their lasagna, gumagamit sila nung lasagna na hindi pa naluluto. So, what they do is they layer it and then they place it in the oven. So, maluluto yung lasagna noodles together with the meat sauce and the white sauce in the oven. Ako personally, I like na luto na yung aking noodles and everything else para lalagay ko na lang siya sa oven para mag-melt yung cheese. Kasi ang isa rin na nangyayari, pag halimbawa, hindi pa luto yung noodles, when you place it in the oven, nagda-dry up siya. So parang nagiging dry yung inyong lasagna. So I don't like that. So gusto ko lagi na pre-cook na yung aking lasagna noodles. So, this has been pre-cooked al dente at meron din siyang nulagin ko rin siya ng oil para lang hindi siya mag-dry up. So, with your very, very clean hands, make sure that your hands are clean, just place your lasagna noodles at the bottom of your um, pan. So, lagay natin dyan. Okay. And then, we start with our meat sauce. So, layer, layer lang. Layer, layer. So, lagyan natin ng ating meat sauce dito on top of the lasagna. Whoop! Yun, tumapon. <laughs> Natulo. Okay, lapit natin ng konti. Let's put this here. And another one. So, maganda talaga na saucy or masauce. Saucy, parang social. Masauce ang ating meat and our cheese talagang marami yung ating white sauce kasi we don't want na mag-dry yung ating lasagna. Okay, so let's put this here. Ayan. Lagyan pa natin. Siyempre, pag pamilya nyo, papakainin nyo, and even your friends, di ba? Gusto nyo busog-lusog. And now, we layer this or we top this with our white sauce. So, mix lang natin to. Ayan, oh, nag-thicken na siya. Oh. Very thick. So, we'll just get this. Oh. And just put it on top of your meat. So, syempre, habang ginagawa ko to, nagpa- Nagpainit na ako ng oven. I preheated it to 175 degrees Celsius. And then, we layer it with another, yan, our lasagna noodles. Another layer of our lasagna noodles. So, gawin naman natin siya na pag ganito. Para lang may style. <laughs> pag ganito naman. There you go. Patay ng hindi po net. And just repeat the process over again. Okay. Meaning, lalagyan na naman natin yung ating meat sauce and then the white sauce. Konti na lang just to cover the top of your meat. Yeah, that's good. Okay, last, last, last na. Yeah. Okay, so okay na. Nalagay na natin yung layers ng ating lasagna. Now, it's time for us to place some grated cheese on top. Tumunog yung oven. Okay, so this is just quick melting cheese. 
Traditionally, ginagamit nga mozzarella cheese. Pero pwede naman kayo gumamit ng quick melting cheese. Pero sobrang lambot na niya, no? Okay, kuha tayo. So, lagay lang natin siya dito on top of our white sauce. Ubusin natin yung isang block para talagang cheesy. Diba? Anything with cheese is great, especially for kids. Gustong-gusto nila yung makeso. Ayan. So, ubusin natin yung keso para talagang punong-puno ng keso yung taas. Ayan. Lahat ng lugar na pwedeng paglagyan ng keso, lagyan natin. There you go. So, ilalagay na natin ito ngayon sa oven. Okay. So, lagay na natin siya dito sa oven. Paingat lang. Matinig na init. So, we'll just wait for this, for the cheese to melt. Kasi luto na naman lahat ng ating mga ingredients inside. Let's wait. Yan. Ready na ang ating lasagna. So, dahan-dahan lang. Let's... Slice it at medyo mainit pa, no? Ano bang gusto ko? Malaki o maliit? Para isang slice lang ay busog na ako. Okay, so slowly lang. Ayan. So, ready na yung lasagna. I will just taste it first. Excited akong tikman. Mmm, ang sarap. Very cheesy. Ang sarap din ang lasa ng tomatoes. Thank you again for watching today's video. Sana naman ay nag-enjoy kayo at may natutunan kayo today. And of course, kung nagustuhan nyo to, please don't forget to like and to share my videos. At dun sa hindi pa nagsusubscribe, please subscribe to my channel. And of course, hit the bell. See you again next time only here on Chef Mom Rosebud. Kainin ko na to.